Hey Lego fans, welcome back, I'm JSTAR. Today we're gonna to talk about my new mold system. So this is the first one I built. And uh, here's the things I wanna point out. So we have uh, Technic bricks here with the connectors. Okay, can you see that? And Technic bricks all the way around back here. All the, these are all um, unexposed sides. And you see I'll have my wiring coming out of one of the Technic holes. So that's good, this is just tucking it in there for safety. Um, and then back here I have the plates that are just miscolored because it doesn't matter, they won't be seen. Inside I think it's blue bricks as well. Uh, and then along the front we have plain bricks and then I did I decided to go uh, black, stripe of white, and then black front to the sidewalk so it's consistent throughout the city, wherever I do it. Now to create the curve, um, on this one, it's a little more angular, but you see it's just blocky in there. Now, I've used these pylons before, um, which I make with the, the cones and the uh, whipped cream piece, which I also use on my bollards uh, in the, um, by the canal. Like, that's the top of each thing. So it's sort of a, a city thing. But I use those and these flowers and greenery to fill in the edges and give it a, a round appearance. But these, uh, now when I, these um, pylons, I raised them up on two by two cylinders so that uh, they'd still have their presence. And it's sort of like the safety issue of, you know, people not running off the corner. I forgot what I was gonna say, but anyway, there's those. Anything else on this? I tiled right to the edge. So basically it's just a, a an optical illusion of the circle, so I just filled in to make it uh, look circular. And then over here, I've done the same thing. I've used uh, the pylons to just cap the circle and I put a couple flowers in there just for fun. Okay, now let's look at the next one. And in this video, I'm just basically moving down Main Street. So uh, it starts with the bike shop and then this is like a, there's the train station right here. So it was kind of high for minifigures and you can see the curb is pretty big and I can put a car in for reference. You see how tall it is, uh, which I think it kind of looks cool, but somebody was like, oh, those curves are unrealistic. Okay, well, it's Lego, let's start there. Um, coffee cups are the size of our heads. Cell phones are as tall as, as long as our legs. You know, not every building has stairs and bathrooms. We've got to make some concessions with Lego, <laughs> but to make it a little more realistic, I added steps down to the city. Oh, I have my pointer. Uh, steps down from the curb to the street. And another thing that I did on uh, the straight road plates that have the, um, what do you call that? The uh, subway, or not subway, gutter, grill, uh, drain, that's what it's called. Uh, I put the little one by six, one by one by six arch there. So uh, you can have like a, just a little bit of gutter action. Sadly, uh, even though there's a raised part on the um, archway, you can't fit tiles underneath that archway. Maybe there's new ones like the the one by six, uh, one by two by six arch, which has ones that fit something under it and ones that don't. So anyway, I I like how this turned out with the uh, with the rails. I called these flowers the uh, Belleville Beautification Project when I I made a bunch of them and added them all around the city to make it look pretty. So <clears throat> anyway, that's the the next one down the line. And this is where we sort of get into the uh, regular part of the sidewalk. So this sidewalk runs all the way around the, the front edge of my uh, city, my main street of the city. It's a U shape. Uh, but I have this going all the way down. So I have little vignettes of like the roller skating tennis players. And then these people are talking to each other here. Um, for 4th of July, I've done the flags all the way down. But again, we're here for mills plates, mills plates, or mold plates. These are mold systems. This is the mold, it's mills plus old school ro uh, road plate. Mold, mills plate plus old school road plate. Again, I put the arches in, white stripe, black um, base, and I have the, the Technic connector holes there. This is the front edge, so it's solid. Technic on the end, Technic on the end, so that can power all my, I can run my power for all my uh, street lamps is what those are called. So that's a, that's a basic one. 
let's see the next one. So here we are again, again, continuing down my sidewalk here. Now this one, the next plate is a uh, four-way connector, or no, it's a T-plate, but there's a road here, so it's just that corner piece. So I decided to end my railing and just put a, a fire hydrant there. And you can see I used the construction helmet on top of the fire hydrants to give it that, that classic look. And over here, I've got two different kinds of tiling because of the shops that are facing this. This goes in front of the botanical gardens, which has the, like the basket weave. And this checkerboard is in the in front of the record shop. That's my traditional basic sidewalk thing. And then I'm not above modifying Lego. And I did this last night and let's see if it, if it took, um, I glued, <laughs> well, it's not coming off now. Yes, it is. I glued a two by six to the middle of my street uh, in a couple places because I wanted to have these medians and I'd had them double stick taped down, but uh, the double stick tape dries out and stuff. So anyway, basically I just built a divot in the bottom for the two by six. So this could be changed. I could do different medians or different stuff in the middle. Uh, but now I have the little stoplight median, the flowers, cars can scoot right past it. I mean, that's only a four and a half, five wide car, but um, they do scoot past. Uh, I just, I love the look of that. And same grains, same everything on this one. All right, so this is the next section of street. This is the one I just showed you. I put the fire hydrant here on the edge because on the corners, I turned them into steps down to go to the uh, crosswalks. And this is actually a cross piece, but I built over the middle section so that I could have these crosswalks painted on across this street. And you can see here how the, um, the median just edges out that. Again, I glued a two by six plate to the edge of this uh, base plate so that I could put things on it that happens to overlap so it goes out into the crosswalk which I think is cool now one thing that I want to point out here is when you're putting in the random bricks for the back of your thing say like I've got you know blue and tan bricks on the back which will never be seen but um in haste, I couldn't find a four by six and I just popped a white base plate in there. But look what happens, what's the difference? I've got the black edge here, there's a black base plate there and a white base plate here. You see how that, uh, just a little hint of the black shows, but the white is behind there so it doesn't show up. Just remember what kind of plates you're um, putting behind stuff when it's an open edge like that, especially if you're gonna do steps, because the tiles have that edge. So you need to think about what, what goes behind it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, anything else on this? So again, this is a, this is one of the intersection pieces, the four way intersection. I just bricked across that basically to be able to have these crosswalks going across there. Cause I wanted a, a nice central cross path for my city. So that, that. Also over here, um, these are, Again, two different patterned uh, city streets. I've got, this is the rest in front of my um, record store. And then this starts in front of the pizza shop. So I, I switch up my, um, my tilings. Okay. So here's the next mold plate down the line. Again, same basic stuff, sidewalk on the front, row of, um, row of railing across the front with the lamp post. I've got this, the uh, sewer arch. I've got a median thing there. And then on this side, I did rails with flowers, the Belleville beautification project. And we have a little post scene here with the uh, British style post box, a stack of letters, and he's, I guess, pulling them out of the box, a little white bag, and then she's running to catch him to deliver her 
letter. Can you see that? Okay, I'm on. Focus. How do we get it to focus? Well, just... Okay. Uh, and then a couple people talking. But um, same basic thing. Um, you got mills on both sides. And then old, old, old school road plate in the middle. Okay, so now we get down here to the um, side entrance of the park. And that's those stairs go up to the Lego store, the Lego Grand Emporium, or the Grand Lego Emporium. Uh, pattern tiling changes for around the park. I do these outlined squares. And the park is outlined with bollards. They go all the way around the park. And then I put a couple of these columned uh, planters on each side of the park. I think that's a little cool way to introduce the park. And then I have Belleville Beautification Project over here with the rounded fence pieces just to give it a little architectural detail change it up a little bit um basic black and white check over here and i just wanted to mention one thing about the stairs too uh for the heights of them i always just i never can remember what to do with stairs so i created a rule it's two plates then tile and then it's one one up from there so it's just uh yeah two plates plus tile and that's three plates plus a tile, four plates plus a tile. You get the picture. Um, but it makes a nice little smooth. Also, you need to remember when you're tiling your city. And um, even if you just have gray, there's different shades of gray. Make different patterns with the grays. Uh, there's so many cool colors you can put out there, you know. Maybe you have a, a, a bake shop that's, you know, all pink and white. Put pink and white on the sidewalk. It'd be cute. When I'm tiling, I always put... Uh, black jumper plates, two by twos, with the white tiles. The the black seems to hide the, the studs a little bit, but it gives you lots of place to put uh, minifigures. Same over here, I did that. Now, you might want to have somebody walking up the stairs or something, so, um, you know, throw a jumper plate in there, mix that up, put a jumper plate here if you wanna have somebody at the top of the stairs. But just as a basic rule, all my black, um, tiles in the city are jumper plates so I can have variation and movability. I can change it around. So basic thing with that, got your sewer. Um, that's it on that one. So this is the next plate down. This is the park entrance one. And then the park runs two place base plates this way. And then this is the front, the uh, front street where the courthouse is, but, and that's museum square back there. But I wanted to show you these together because of the subway. Uh, so on this plate I've got the subway entrance and by the way this uh, subway entrance design came from Robin Hood Bricks I just love it so much it's so perfect it's just you know it's like a New York or Paris metro um, my little skateboarders are falling off I'll move them uh, so I love having it I love it being here, it fits just perfectly. <clears throat> and then the rail continues there. And one thing to notice here, I didn't have enough space for a regular rail. Like usually I do these in sections of twos or two, um, two rail pieces, so eight things, but it was only three wide. So I used the telescope pieces here. And again, over here, I had to cut off the archway. Originally was seven gate pieces, but when I put the, subway in which is 10 long it just needed those last two spaces so I changed that last little bit of rail to uh, telescopes and it, it blends in you know and now with the with the subway now you can go down a couple levels with the steps and make it feel like it's a recessed it's really going underground uh, I used to have just the black tiles. I had the one uh, aluminum plate tile at the front and then it was just black tiles. And I've got a couple of studs in there that you can mount the uh, half body. And he's actually, he's on, oop, it didn't come off correctly or whatever. He's on two one by two plates just to give him a little bit more height in there. But then you have your, oop, I can't remember where the camera is. Uh, then you have your steps going down and you may notice those are computer keyboards instead of aluminum grates because I didn't have any aluminum grates in one by four. 
but I just love the simplicity of this design. And I'm hoping I can figure out a way to light these. I don't know if I'll be able to or not, but we'll see when I get my lighting kits from Bevan's Bricks. Anyway, I love the way that fits on there. So now this one, this mold plate, Mills, Mills plus old school road plate is uh, another curved one. And this started with the, the curved railing to, to mimic the thing. And you notice like it's a deeper curve than the road. So I just filled all that with vegetation. And again, on this side, I've got the pylons, which I had before. Um, actually I had more in this corner in museum square, but I like the greenery kind of trailing off. It kind of gives a little, I should use my pointer, use my pointer. I like the greenery tailing off. Uh, oh, I'm missing a flower there. I don't know where it went, it fell off. Um, anyway, it just gives a nice, it fills the corner nicely. And then uh, again, I capped it. I was trying to balance this heaviness of the subway with something else here. So I put a, a lamppost and the fire hydrant on the end. And then again, going around the park, I've got the bollards going so that I just continued that pattern uh, around the around the corner. And in this corner, I used, can you see this? I used round one by one bricks. Can you see that? Is it focusing? One by one bricks there just to put a softness. And then I have the, you know, four by quarter round plate on there. So that's a true circular corner. This little divot is for the fountain that's in the middle of Museum Square. And you can see the tile is patterned uh, around it. So it creates a, a big, nice pattern. And then my little scene here is Breakdance Grandma. She's breakdancing in front of the fountain with her little boom box. And all these kid skaters have stopped to watch her get down and boogie. I love that little scene. I think it's so cute. <clears throat> so again, a corner mold plate because Mills doesn't have the curves that we need. Now I've heard that Lego might possibly introduce curved plates to go with those new road plates, but still with the new road plates, I don't like those, um, I don't like the rectangles all down the roads. It's just like square, like, I don't know. It just looks like bumpy and whatever. It doesn't look like a road to me. This looks like a road to me. So let's see the next one. Okay, so I brought two more sections because the next section is a half base plate road plate, which I just cut in half. You can see my janky strip there because I wouldn't find a metal ruler to cut against. I'm just that way. I just had to go for it. But um, I also wanted to show you them pinned together. So if you want to snap them apart, you've got your Technic pins. You got your Technic pins in the um, things. Still space for wires to run through. Um, let's take this apart so you can see it. Uh, nothing special or different here. This one does have a sewer. I've got, oh, and I just realized. So I messed up when I was putting in a couple of the stairs and I did one layer here instead of two um, to start it. So you can see how it looks off. Uh, so I'll fix that right now. Okay, so now it's fixed. So now again, it's two to start and then just one, one, one as you go up. I think that makes a nice gentle slope. That, and then uh, I have, I think I have too many lamp posts here. I will, um, oh, come on, hop in there. That one first, just to, there. Um, I probably changed that to a post box. Yeah, I'll change that to a post box. Oh, his crown is gone. Where is his crown? Can we do it with the flowers next to it? Maybe, okay. Um, and then this leads to the plate that is in front of Town Hall. And so you've got, I've got the bigger uh, lamppost there and more Belleville Beautification Project. And the park entrance is directly across from Town Hall. And then I put this little roundabout statue in here. I haven't glued him down yet. 
Uh, I really love the look of this. Cars can scooch by it, um, but it's just nice to have that central figure. I considered putting, making this a four-way cross and having this dip into the, um, this section dip into the park, but it just ate up a lot of the space and I really wanted a grander entrance to the park. I'm going to do an overhead down the street so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, at the end, when I show you all these, how they hook together and whatever. Um, but basically, this creates um, uh, a parallel parking. I have an old, old-timey old car there in front of the town hall, like it's the mayor's car. And what I'm going to do is eventually I'll put steps up to the... Uh, up to the, I'll put steps up to the town hall from this edge. So low-rise steps like these will go two, 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 one, two, three up to the front of the town hall. I think that'll be... Uh, a cool solution for that so anyway there's that Oop, rolling baller oh and then also i had mentioned <clears throat> putting white jumper plates in i've got because of the pattern of the entrance to the park with these shield pieces i threw in these jumper pieces uh to have places to position the the minifigures right at the park entrance and I decided not to put stairs in front of the park entrance. I'm just going to let them enter from the three sides. I think that's better than having, it gets a little too confusing with having steps that go down and there's a statue blocking the way and then there's parking and blah, 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 blah. So just let them enter from the sides. That uh, doesn't all have to be balanced and perfect. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so again, continuing down. What if, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot where I was. Okay, so Town Hall sits there, and then this is my dinosaur museum, and so you can see the, this is a basic, again, a basic half plate that I really cut wonky. Look at that edge, it's so bad. <laughs> uh, what is happening? Why won't that go in there? Okay, there. Uh, anyway, you can see that big strip. On my table, I actually tried to to paint it gray underneath to hide it, but it, it shifts and you still see it. So whatever, uh, I can hide it with cars, dunk. Yeah, nobody will know. Nobody knows there's a seam there. Anyway, so this is another just basic uh, one. We've got the continuation of the pattern of the park. You have the flowers from the town hall. And then we get to the other side, which is interesting. Let me move these out of the way. I'll swap that. So this is Assembly Square Corner. Uh, Assembly Square sits there besides the, beside the Dinosaur Museum. And so this, I could just show you. I'm debating for, on this edge, ooh, um, okay, it's all falling apart. So I'm debating on this front edge to maybe put some stairs down here in front of the dinosaur museum. Uh, maybe even, I don't know. I don't know if, if I take out those three, the, that three um, rows of sidewalk, if it's worth it or not. But anyway, that's just part of the pattern in front of the, the dinosaur museum. So... So then we go into Assembly Square, and again, uh, these are matched corners as you face the front of the city on either side. I've got all the vegetation filling the thing, um, bollards on the other corner of the park, and a uh, fire hydrant, and I've got the two trees with the chess players. Now I actually moved these, if you watch my other video, the trees were like here on the ends of the archway, but then I got the idea to just to add the subways here. So that took, <laughs> uh, me, you couldn't have a tree right there because then they walk into a tree as they come in. I should say, I've got my pointer. I had them here and you would walk right into a tree. Actually, it makes more sense if I have my hand there because it is big and blocky. Um, but I think it's okay to have it this close to the, the chess players. They can play in some nice shade. This subway station, I reversed so that uh, it, 
it opens onto the into the circle and on the other side it's coming out of the circle so it's uh, coming this way um the stairs come up this way does that make sense it goes the it's like that and this one's like that <laughs> i'm certainly making sense this is a, a an n and this is a u does that make sense okay uh i just thought it'd be interesting to mix, mix it up and see it from different uh angles on each side and again i have the stairs going down and this time he's walking down into the subway uh and again those computer keyboard steps which i really think kind of work they just kind of blend in and you don't even notice that uh what's happening there okay we've got one more okay so now this again this is the corner assembly square is over there and this is the hospital here and then this is the boutique hotel and so this has always been like a um what do you call it parallel parking place this has always been a parallel parking place in front of the boutique hotel so i kept that there and on these corners i just did so oopsie there's my little things again i gotta fix those okay now i have the stairs fixed the right levels two base plate two two uh, yeah two plates tiling one up one up um <clears throat> and this is just a another basic one T plate this is the entrance into the park so i have the stairs that are centered on the park and then these two corner plates i tiled this will make more sense when uh when the um boutique hotel behind here gets uh mills plated to match the mold plating that I have here. My <laughs> mills plus old school road plate. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Now let's just take a quick tour of the, the whole run of the street so you can see what's going on. Okay, so here's how the roads all look when laid out. I start here with the uh, bike um, shop, bike rental shop, and the train station. And then we go down to assembly, or not <laughs> assembly square, the botanical garden. And then I have my record shop mock and my pizza shop mock. And then we have the boutique, uh, not boutique hotel. I really want to say boutique hotel, the um, cafe corner. And then we go in front of the grand Lego emporium into the corner by museum square and in front of the butcher in the library town hall dinosaur museum and then another corner in front of assembly square with the hospital and the boutique hotel and then my standing hole disappears but the road continues on we pretend that the road continues on it probably will eventually and i'll just have have to lose some weight because this is all we got just three base baits wide is that right or, yeah, three base plates. Um, anyway, now you can kind of see how the once this is base plated up, that pattern continues across there, and the steps will come into the park. And I'll remove that railing there. But now you can see my mold system for the roads of my city: mills plus old school road plates, mold plates. Wow, if you made it through this 30 minute video, you're a trooper. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. From Belleville, I'm Jay Star saying have a great day and keep creating.